Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So typical holiday price action. Even the futures was open yesterday. Uh, nothing really happened. Uh, one thing that is clear, though, is that the oscillators are getting to an overbought situation. And um, we have quite a bit of structure here at 42.10, 42.17 area. Now, big question is, is this the top of structure we're looking for a deeper pullback uh, which is kind of what I would be expecting and I just want to put these two levels in because that's the zone that I would expect us to uh, at least pull back into however we all know that that doesn't always go according to our wishes so you start dropping down to three I can see that's not giving us any indication um, we've got a separation of the oscillators happening at the moment but Nothing really concrete here, so we need to drop down lower. And uh, before we continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button there. Uh, S&P 500 video viewers are a little bit slower than the DAX viewers for some reason. DAX gets 50 likes every time we ask for them, and the S&P 500, you guys lag a little bit. So come on, drop us a comment, give us a, a thumbs up. Uh, just show me that it's not uh, all in vain every morning. So, I'm going to put one more level in here. Okay, so what we do have here is, if you look to the left here, you can see we had a lot of confusion here while we were waiting, debt ceiling, debt ceiling, and then fear, and then, oh, okay, everything's fine, so we kind of came back up. But uh, bottom line is above and below the moving averages, and now we're above oscillators. Not quite diversions, but all over the place, which is to be expected for holiday um, price action. So what we're looking for is 4211, sorry, no, 4210, but 4211 is the first level we're looking at. Then 4202, I would say 4200 is my next level. Um, and then I'd be looking at 4192, and lastly 4182. So... At the moment, we've got a crossover of the moving averages. We oscillated all over the place. They were separated yesterday, so um, but that's holiday price action. And uh, also what you typically find the day after a holiday is the highs and lows that were printed normally tested the day after. So I still suspect this gap is going to close. So this was a flag here on Friday that formed and then immediately we gapped up and sideways. So nothing still here. I mean, we're still in holiday mode, to be honest. Uh, and I don't think that's going to change until the USA comes online. So we're looking for pullbacks onto one of those levels. We're looking for price action to tell us what's going on. And that's going to be either an inside bar, an engulfing bar, or a pin bar. Nice and simple. We want it off one of these levels. And as soon as we see it, we're looking for a break of that structure. So your entry is on the break and your stop is below the structure. And uh, if you get a bar that closes below any of these levels, it's null and void. Wait for another second pullback to the level or wait lower down at the next level. Not interested in shorting this. Not at the moment. Um, although we have uh, a little bit of weird structure on the Dow Jones, um, which is not looking very bullish at all, but this is looking bullish. You can see it, moving averages all pointing up, and that's on the eight hour, the three hour, moving averages pointing up, um, just looking a little bit tired on the oscillators. So the hour is a crossover. We're looking for a pullback onto structure. We did break through all the structure here, and any one of these tails in here could be an opportunity to buy off. So. Pay attention to these levels. Um, you will more than likely get a retest of one of them today. And uh, also just keep in the back of your mind that the, the political noise is not quite over. Um, there's going to be some whippet snapper in the Senate that's going to want to uh, just fluff his tail feathers or her tail feathers and uh, cause trouble with the, the debt ceiling um, situation. So when that does happen, you're going to see quite big fluctuations in uh, the markets. Okay. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.